Time to play with some clay. All right, there's a video that I, I saw of a uh, reconstructed uh, village of uh, 2,000 years ago during the time of Christ um, where there was a shepherd, an actual shepherd, and his staff came up to the bottom of his chin and there was a hook on it uh, and it was a natural branch uh, that grew out of the staff that uh, formed a hook and I'm going to create that right now. I cut the uh, staff that I had down to match uh, nearly the height of his chin and now I'm going to what did I just knock over? <laughs> oh man. I'm a disaster waiting for something to happen here. Anyway, I'm going to... Uh, well, as soon as I can find, find my wire. Oh, here we go. I'm going to use this uh, twisted wire that I formed to uh, make an armature out of uh, baling wire and I'm going to make that into the uh, crook for the staff. doing the staff. I just think it adds to the total. And uh, I've gotten a lot of suggestions, a lot of comments, and uh, one gentleman uh, actually said that uh, this is like a Bible study course going on right now. And I guess it could be called that in some respects. And I don't apologize for that because I think we all need inspiration in our life. And now I gotta find my electrician's tape. There it is. And we need some kind of inspiration in life and God sent his son to be a sacrificial lamb for our sins. And uh, he deserves the honors that I can uh, bestow upon him. got a good south wind coming in and since my windows face south that's why you can hear the wind I wanted to add clay to this staff anyway because it uh, needs something for the hands to latch on to the clay hands and uh, it won't attached to the stick as well as it will to other clay. So that's why I'm adding the clay. Alright, I'll be back. Okay. <sighs> now I've got the uh, staff all covered in clay. I'm glad I let the uh, stick 
I'm glad I, I'm glad I skinned the stick of all bark so that the uh, wood underneath could dry out because it makes a perfect armature for the, for the uh, clay. Alright, I'm going to set this aside. Now that I get a hook, I can actually hang it aside. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to work on his shoulders and his arms. And uh, so I can start doing the clothing. Again, I'm not worried about the uh, anatomy as much because uh, most of this is going to be covered with uh, drapery and clothing and uh, it'd be just a waste of my time to try to get every muscle. Now, if I was trying to teach myself how to sculpt, I'd do every muscle just as, as an exercise, but uh, I know enough of the anatomy myself that I can sketch it in pretty quick. And it makes it a lot faster. I, I used to, what I used to do, what I can do now, it used to take me six months to do before. Because uh, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> but I do know it now, somewhat. I still learn every day that I sculpt. I learn a little bit more.
right, that's as far as I'm going to get tonight. I'll uh, work on this tomorrow. Sometime this week, well, actually, I can't work on it tomorrow. I've got an order for a full set of my DVDs that I've got to get out before Thursday or by Thursday so that the client can get it as a Christmas gift uh, to his uh, family member. And so I've got to do that tomorrow. So I won't be able to get back onto this for a couple of days. But I got this uh, going pretty good now. I, I like uh, the way it's looking. I like how soft this desk neck looks. It's, it's amazing how different it looks now that he has muscles in his uh, shoulders and flesh skin and all that stuff. It's going to look even better when I get the hair on it and all the other stuff that's going to go on it. The hands are in a good position right now. And uh, I'm liking the uh, staff the way it is. I'll soften up the space at some point. Um, it's a little harsh right now around the eyes. I want to soften that up a little bit. But I'm going to wait till I get a little further along and let the total tell me what the face is going to be. All right, everybody. See you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.